Welcome to Pac West Best in Class, highlighting student athletes that are leaving their mark on athletics and academics across the conference. Our stop is at Langara with Davian Sang from the Langara Falcons women's basketball team. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about academics and being a student athlete since it's the best in class. What program are you in? Uh, I was taking kinesiology at Langara. Okay. Why kinesiology? Why get into that field? Um, I think most people get into it because it's kind of like a broad field to go into. But I guess as someone growing up in sports, it's kind of mm. like a default. Like you want to stay in something related and something you're really interested in. So that was why I picked kin. Yeah. Do you remember when you started first to become interested in, in kin? Um, Probably around like grade 11, 12. When people start asking you the big questions of what are you going to do with your life? And I guess I was just like, I want to be in sports. Like I want to play basketball. I want to be involved. And so, yeah, made the decision kind of easy for me. Yeah. And why settle with Langara? Um, well, I live in Richmond, so Langara is kind of close to that. Mm -hmm. Um, and the one thing Langara is known for is their transferability. So Obviously, you want to go into a school that gives you options after. So, sure, sure. Biggest challenge of being a student athlete is what would you say? Um, has to be like managing your time. Yeah. <laughs> it's not enough hours in the day to get everything done sometimes. So, how do you keep on track? How do you juggle everything with all the practices and workouts and games and travel? And then, oh, by the way, classes. <laughs> how do you juggle it all? Um, I think it's just important to like find little pockets of time in your schedule and kind of your, your schedule is always going to be packed and just like knowing that going in and like trying to be productive in like the one or two hours between classes that you have or like between practice and like classes. So yeah, just using what you have. And you're certainly no stranger to be a student athlete. You played basketball in high school, you, you know, you're coming into college. But that jump from high school student athlete to college student athlete, was that was that a big jump? Um, I think it was a little bit better, honestly, because of like what happened with COVID. I think most schools, they went into what's called like a quarter system. So classes were a bit more fast paced, which okay. kind of helped with like getting into the semesters, I think. Yeah. But definitely still like double the content and way more work to do. Yeah. So how do you keep yourself on track? Do you have a, a calendar or you use your phone? You have an assistant? How do you how do you stay on track? Definitely no assistant. Um, I'm more <laughs> of like a phone person. So okay. I just got reminders and things on my calendar that I just always check in on. Yeah. Did it get easier along the way from first year to to this year? Do you, is it easier being a student athlete, do you think? Or is it just, this is what you do? Well, I think a part of it is getting used to it. I think in the first year, it kind of comes as a shock when like midterms come along and then like all the stress piles on. But now it's a little bit more of like, you know what to expect and you can prepare a little bit more for it, but yeah. it doesn't get easy. Is it ever a time where you just thought, this is too much. I can't, I can't be a kin student and play basketball and do practice and then maybe have some social life. It, was there ever a time where you went, oh, it's a little too much? I think that there definitely were a lot of times like that. Um, but like the thing is like, you're not actually going through it alone. And I think when you have teammates that are going through the exact same thing, there's a comfort there too. And you, like a support system as well. That's a great point. You you can lean on other student athletes, teammates, family members that you can motivate you, right? To get you through some of the tough times when you have, oh my gosh, I have this program, this project due, and I got a big game this weekend. So how much did you lean on your teammates? Um. Well, I think a big thing is just talking about it. Yeah. Um. And you just, you just got to get through. You got to do it. There's, yeah. Yeah. What, what are you doing this summer? Um, well, this summer I'm doing some like observational type things. Um, to prepare me a bit more for the field. Um, and a bit of well, like part-time work. Yeah. I think a lot of us, yeah, we work a bit in the summer. And just, yeah. 
your time as a student athlete and being a student athlete, can that prepare you for the real world because you know how to juggle a few more things and multitask? Do you think that will help you once you graduate and you have your kind degree? I think definitely like in life, there's always like things going on sure. and just learning how to like juggle them and how to like prioritize certain things definitely will be useful. If you went back in time, tell your rookie self going into Langara, what would you say about academics and being a student athlete? Um, honestly, just, just keep trying. Like yeah. it's okay. It's like one test goes wrong or whatever. Like it's not the end of the world. Like you just got to keep going and be consistent with it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, enjoy your summer. Thanks for doing this and hope you get some beach time in there too. Thank you so much for having me. This has been Pack West Best in Class with Ryan Waters.